Hi guys, I'm back again making today uh, one of my natural soaps. This one is 100% coconut oil, 25% super fat, and I'm making a uh, soap on a rope for gardeners, and I'm using the heat transfer method today. So I've got um, my four kilos of coconut oil in this big pot, and I've just um, just mixed my lye solution so it's very hot. I'll just take it temperature. So it's 86 degrees Celsius. And I'm just going to pour that on top of my coconut oil very slowly. Just break the fall with the spoon so it doesn't splash. This is going to require a fair bit of stirring. I won't bore you with the whole process, but um, I'll bring you back when it's melted down a bit more. So I'm just going to keep stirring like this, probably for about five minutes, and um, should have melted a lot of the coconut oil by that stage. So I'll see you shortly. So it's probably been about five minutes of stirring. It's mostly melted down um, and what are we at now 31 degrees now so it's cooled down considerably I'm going to use a stick blender to break up the last of it and then we'll start um, putting in the additives Okay, I think that's pretty well blended that up. I'm going to give it another stick blend, of course, after I've put my additives in. So if there's any little bits there, they should get blended up then. So my this is going to be like a herbal hand soap for gardeners for cleaning their hands. So my essential oil blend today has got French lavender spearmint, rosemary, basil, rose geranium, peppermint and clove. And I've had this sitting in some French green clay just to help anchor. And to give a little bit of green colour. Should I get it all out? So that's my essential oils and my clay. And then a little bit of uh, dried nettle powder that um, we grew here on the farm. So this is my powdered nettle leaf. So I dried this in front of the fire. It took probably a month or more. Um, and then I ground it up and put it through a sieve. Also adding some pumice stone, ground pumice stone. So this is a 
one quarter cup measure. So I'm just adding a quarter of a cup of each of these additives. Poppy seeds. And last is some ground coffee. That's gorgeous. All those beautiful additives. So this is really good soap for getting dirt off your hands. Also for mechanics, 100% coconut oil soap is really good for removing grease. Um, and it does also lather in salt water. So if you want to use this uh, to take fishing in the ocean, um, it will also lather in salt water. So I'll give this a blend with the stick blender, make sure it's completely blended through before I pour it. I think we're about done there. I'll just get my moulds. Now I got um, I got this from Bunnings Cocoa Twine, so it's um, very strong and made for outdoor use. So I thought it would be good for using on a gardener's soap if you want to hang it on the tap outside. So I cut off about thirty-five centimeters and then just tied a knot in the end. Then I've put marks on my mold here where I need to place each one. And I will put one in each bar of soap. Hi, I'm sorry I forgot to bring you back for the cutting of this soap, but here is the gardener's soap cut. It's 
And you can see all the gorgeous speckles in there for exfoliation and the nettles in there that you can see for colour. Beautiful rope. This is my breadboard that I take my photos on, my little Kmart plant. And I just sort of arrange my soap and take the photos for Facebook and Instagram. So I'll just do that now and um, hopefully I'll catch you on the next video.